sort of romantic. It's called Cinderella. You always read about it. The plumber with the 12 children who brings the Irish sweet steaks from toilets to riches. That story. Or the nursemaid, some luscious sweet from Denmark who captures the oldest son's heart from diapers to Dior. That story. Or a milkman who serves the wealthy eggs, cream, butter, yogurt, milk, the white truck like an ambulance, who goes into real estate and makes a pile, from hom homogenized to martinis at lunch. Or the charwoman who is on the bus when it cracks up and collects enough from the insurance from mops to bond with teller. That story. <laughs> Once the wife of a rich man was on her deathbed, and she said to her daughter Cinderella, be devout, be good, and then I will smile down from heaven in the scene of a cloud. The man took another wife who had two daughters, pretty enough, but with hearts like blackjacks. <laughs> Cinderella was their maid. She slept on the sooty earth each night and walked around looking like Al Dosen. Her father <laughs> brought presents from, sorry about that, from town, jewels and gowns for the other women, with the twig of a tree for Cinderella. She planted that twig on her mother's grave and it grew to a tree where a white dove, dove sat. Whenever she wished for anything, the dove would drop it like an egg upon the ground. The bird is important, my dears, so eat him. Next came the ball, as you all know. It was a marriage market. The prince was looking for a wife. All but Cinderella were preparing and gussing up for the event. Cinderella begged to go too. Her stepmother threw a dish of lentils into the cinders and said, pick them, pick them up in an hour and you shall go. The white dove brought all his friends, all the warm wings of the featherland came and picked up the lentils in a jiffy. No, Cinderella, said the stepmother, you have no clothes and cannot dance. That's the way with stepmothers. <laughs> Cinderella went to the tree at the grave and cried forth like a gospel singer. Mama, mama, my turtle dove, Send me to the prince's ball. The bird dropped down a golden dress and delicate little slippers. Rather a large package for a simple bird. So she went, which is no surprise. Her stepmother and sisters didn't recognize her without her cinder face. 